no money stablon infrastructure following the meet at fincop house yesterday when contractors demanded for payments for infrastructure works carried out in schools in ncd education secretary dr michael tapo said the department was working to discipline officers involved in corrupt practices he said he has received word time and again that there were many officers in the department involved in such activities and he wants to get to the bottom of these these activities include not just a wedding of contracts but allowing ghost people especially teachers to be on payroll when they hunt in classrooms working he said such officers will be disciplined and he has already written discipline letters for these employees. I've spent the last three months trying to get my facts right before I start to uh, discipline people. And uh, in fact, for some reason, it happened this week because I've got letters already done up to be able to save on people. And I'm, it just something happened. Maybe it's a God's blessing or God's undertaking that it Saturday is uh, prompted this whole thing. So he said an audit was done between the years 2005 and 2009 and two reports were presented to the department and warnings have been issued to those employees. Yes, we have offices, there are people who have been uh, sent the letters to by, by, by Dr. Sinabare and Dr. Pagelio, uh, who were previous uh, secretaries. They have been sent the letters, uh, giving them what they call um, uh, a strong uh, letter of, an, of a disciplinary, uh, minor disciplinary offense in terms of them entering into contract when there is no money or engaging in some uh, work that uh, is not proper. He said he also issued instructions to provinces to report such officers to the department for necessary actions to be taken. Dr. Tapo stressed that 2014 will be a tough year. The department will work to fix anomalies involved in the system. In the meantime, he welcomed the call by Education Minister James Marape for an investigation to be carried out on the department. Ruth Rungola, National MTV News.